Of biologists are on high alert as this ongoing drought dries up the rivers that some animals call home. Fortunately, the San Antonio area has federal safeguards in place to make sure those creatures don't die off in extreme drought. The night team's Camilla Juarez tells us how you can help and do your part to protect these rare species. Kitano Rochelle paddle boards at the San Marcos River daily, and he's noticed the drought take its toll. Well, for the first time ever, my paddleboard roughed up the rocks. Less water, less flow in the river also means less space for critters living underwater. So as the water retreats, essentially the animals retreat with them. The Edwards Aquifer Authority Refugia Program breeds and houses endangered species in San Marcos, just in case the species dies off in a catastrophic event like a severe drought. This drought is affecting endangered species. Um, but not to catastrophic levels. Biologists aren't worried about the Texas blind salamander for now because it hides in the Edwards aquifer. Scientists are growing concerned for the fountain darter fish, known for hiding and darting around. When water flow is low like it is now, water temperatures can rise, algae can grow, ultimately affecting the plants that the fountain darters call home. These changing conditions can really impact fountain darters because it's reducing available habitat, it's reducing the types of plants that they associate with, and uh, potentially reducing things like food and oxygen availability. Texas wild rice is exclusive to the San Marcos River, but now it has less space to spread its long green tentacles. Because water levels are so low, it's a lot easier for more people to stand in the river. But if you're tubing, swimming, or standing, be sure not to pull on or step on any of this Texas wild rice. And if you're running in it, you're basically running through their house. Camilio Juarez, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.